Everything is sold out, and a lot of the money, in fact, all of the money raised today is going to the Mentally Retarded, which is a, uh, which is a uh, charity of Geraldo Rivera's. And also uh, sitting with us up on stage is Michael Spinks, the champ. Michael, who are you calling in the fight? Well, I, I'm going with the big man. I see. That's, Would that be Len Berman or me? Uh, <laughs> that's uh, uh, Frankie. I see you're going with Frank Stallone and Lennon as well. You're seeing Frank Stallone. Well, a lot of Geraldo fans back there, that's for sure. The fighters are in the ring. No, they're not. They're not? <laughs> Who wrote that card? <laughs> Let's go now to our ring announcer, Michael Buffer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, I would like to introduce a very distinguished member of the boxing fraternity here. He's a 1976 Olympic gold medal champion, a two-time world champion, and the only late heavyweight champion in boxing history to step up and win the heavyweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, former heavyweight champion of the world, Michael Spinks. Yeah. Michael Spinks, Michael Spinks ladies and gentlemen. Michael Spinks. And in the ring at this time, the man who will be scoring this bout as third judge, but he is well known as a referee. He'll, he'll be in charge of all the action. He has worked in 100 world title bouts. Ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Mercanti. Yeah, Arthur Mercanti. Mention his penis size. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I understand the fighters are on their way, and that's all we need for the introductions. Here we go. So now, oh. from the Howard Stern television show, Oh, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Yeah! Len, there's Frank Stallone, looking very confident. Smiling, working the crowd. Yeah, yeah. he looks to be in good shape. He looks well-oiled, too, Howard. Yes, he does. He looks good. Frank is in his purple outfit and looks very tan. He's looking great. That's pretty exciting, Len. Now, uh, Frank Stallone and I, waiting for Geraldo, is that a psychological advantage to kind of stay out of the ring for oh, a while? Oh, sure. They, they, uh, they do that all the time and try to make the other guy wait and, uh, and try to get him nervous and upset. And uh, Geraldo uh, exercising that ploy right now. I see. Frank keeping himself warm, though, in the ring. Yeah, Frank is uh, just uh, throwing a few punches. Well, ladies and stuff. gentlemen, in the ring at this time, let me introduce the fighter who has already arrived. He's wearing the purple colors, weighs 178 pounds. His record, 22 victories, 18 KOs, only two defeats. From Potomac, Maryland, ladies and gentlemen, Frank Stallone! Great Frank Stallone, everyone. Frank looks tough, doesn't he, Len? Oh, he looks good. He looks in good shape, too. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in there with him today. Me neither. And coming into the ring at this time, who will be wearing the black trunks, Weighing 162 pounds with a record of three, one and one, a knockout victory to his credit from right here in the Big Apple, New York City, presenting Geraldo, the classic Rock Rivera. Geraldo um, wearing his headgear already, Frank. Yeah, and he looks very serious. Geraldo not smiling at all, Frank. You know, joking um, with the crowd, so a very different difference in demeanor right off the bat. I got to tell you, I'm watching Geraldo, and he does look in shape. He looks very, very good. But remember, Geraldo's coming in at 162. Stallone has 16 pounds and two inches. And the tan, and don't forget the tan. Everybody knows <laughs> that. All right, Frank, Frank, Frank getting into his headgear now. Yeah, both right. in their headgear, 16-ounce head gloves. <laughs> Geraldo looks tough. He really does. You know, you forget that, uh, although Geraldo's a lighter man, you've got to take a look at those trunks, and he's packing something in those pants. <laughs> Geraldo wearing the menacing black colors. I, I think know. that's an advantage. Black Psychological. Trunks, black, black headgear, where uh, Frank has purple, purple trunks, and kind of, what, a beige... Yeah, tan, yeah, something like that. Never quite seen that color in headgear before. <laughs> I'd like to say something right now. Frank hasn't hurt himself so far. Well, so ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, at this time, referee Arthur Mercanti will give the fighters their pre-fight instructions. All right. That's right. And by the way, there is a doctor on hand. Everybody All right, good that. day, gentlemen. You both received your instructions earlier uh, this morning. And you don't have to be instructed again because Len Berman knows all the rules. He'll describe them to the fans who are listening. I wish you both an awful lot of luck. Listen to me carefully, and nothing will happen. Just fight cleanly, and that's it. Good luck to both of you. Bye-bye. All right. I'm going to turn it over to you, Len. I'll try to keep going. All we have to do now, Howard, is wait for the bell to ring. That's right. I got a thousand bucks on Stallone. Hey, do you think um, Stallone used Nair over his whole body, Len? <laughs> He's nicely shaven, I must say. Howard, as far as the rules, you know, it's three two-minute rounds. That's right. the amateurs. 
three knockdown rule is in effect. You go down the third time in any one round, That's the it. fight's over. Okay. No standing eight counts, so the boxers will not be protected by the referee here. And you can be saved by the bell. Ah, I see. Okay. So those are the rules that we're on. And the ten-point must system. I'll hold you back. We're doing this TV monitor. All right, some uh, last-minute rules being uh, explained to the boxers. Ronda looks very, very this is exciting. Mean. The moments before a major fight. I'm nervous. There's yeah, nothing more exciting in sports. I feel like I'm going to piss oh. Both here boxers, here we go. Here we go. And they both are in the center of the ring, both trying to jab. Stallone crouching a bit. Stallone going after Geraldo and connects with a left hook. And the uppercut in the right, and Stallone is on top of Rivera. Rivera trying to hold him off. Geraldo exercising the jab. Really, Stallone on the offensive. <laughs> And Stallone's jab a bit more effective than the left hand from Stallone brings a rise from the crowd. Geraldo backed up against the ropes. Rivera told me he was going to try to run in the first round, but Stallone won't let him. It's a smallish size ring, and I think that works to Stallone's advantage. Stallone on the right hook. Stallone to the body. Stallone clearly with the advantage here in round number one. Two minutes can seem like an eternity here for Geraldo Rivera. Another good jab, from, and another one from Stallone, and another jab, and a right hand from Stallone. It's all Frank Stallone. Geraldo's face reddening. Stallone, another one, backs up Rivera to the ropes. Arthur McKinney separating the boxers. It's been all Frank Stallone in round number one, and another jab from Frank. Geraldo having trouble connecting and with his headgear. To be going in on the, uh, cutting off the ring, right, Wayne? Well, Stallone not allowing Rivera to run. Rivera, who oh, backs up against the ropes. Stallone with a strong right hand, and Rivera trying to hang on. To get the fight, can Rivera hang on for round one? How much time is left? How much time is left is right. It is a long time. It's Stallone connecting with a right, a left, another right. Ten seconds to go in the first round. Ten seconds left, on it. Final seconds of round one. It's been all Stallone, and this is wildly with the hook, and that's it. And McCanny has to separate the two. Good wow. round for Frank Stallone. Wow, Frank Stallone looking awesome. Could there be a knockout here? Michael Spinks, what do you think? What did you think of the first round? Like I, like I mentioned earlier, I said that uh, Stallone starting early would, would be, be to his, his advantage. Right. He's come in. He's, uh, he's and, and that we could possibly see a, a, a knockout here. You're just nice and easy. Murder with left hook. You're killing When you throw the gap, block the gap, tie your own gap. You know, block it. You can't just let him throw away. Block the gap and come back with your own gap right here. And Len, I think we're ready for more action here. Let's go to round two, as Lynn Berman calls the fight. Hold on. Geraldo looks like he's recovered somewhat, doesn't he? His face he really does. His face was red at the end of the first round, but right. his corner people have done a good job. Doru Corbinu, um, a Romanian middleweight champ in his corner, along with Michael Lazade, they've done a good job. Here we go, round two, and again, Stallone backs up Geraldo. Geraldo trying to fight back. Geraldo, the headgear's covering his eyes. I think Geraldo's having more trouble with the headgear than Stallone. Stallone has him backed against the ropes again. Uh -huh. Gotta fix Geraldo's headgear. Yeah. Oh, it's the low No, it's ruled a knockdown. It's ruled a knockdown. Geraldo scores the knockdown in round number two. Stallone Geraldo comes off with a jab, and now Stallone has to be angry. He thought it was a slip, and he's going all over Geraldo. And then backs him into the corner once again. We've had a knockdown here in round.